According to some scientific theories, Jupiter grew large by devouring other smaller planets. There have been a number of space missions that have been sent into space to investigate the formation of the Moon, Mars, the Sun, and our galaxy. However, very few of these missions have shed light on the mystery surrounding the birth of the giant planets. Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel Beyond Unknown, where you can find everything related to space, science, and extraterrestrials. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. The title of biggest planet in our solar system was given to Jupiter for good reason. As one of the findings of a recent investigation has shown, it seems that it amassed such a gigantic size, 300 times larger than Earth, by gorging itself on other less massive planets. The researchers came to this conclusion after analyzing the gravitational data collected by NASA's Juno space probe as well as the composition of the rocky material found at the gas giant's core. They hypothesized that Jupiter fed on infant planets, also known as planetesimals, in order to fuel its growth. A group of astronomers from all over the world working together under the direction of Yamila Miguel at the SRON Netherlands Institute for Space Research came up with this theory. The article that they had written was just released last week in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. One of the earliest planets to come into existence in our solar system was Jupiter. On the other hand, almost nothing is known for certain about how it came into existence. According to Yamila Miguel, an astrophysicist at Leiden University in the Netherlands, who spoke to Live Science about their findings, the gravity data that Juno provided were extremely precise and they assisted us in putting some limits on the distribution of material within Jupiter's interior. It is very specific information that can only be obtained from a spacecraft that is currently in orbit around the planet. Additionally, she said, even though Jupiter is primarily a ball of swirling gas at this point in its history, it began its existence by accumulating rocky material just like every other planet in the solar system does. As the planet's gravity pulled in more and more rocks, the rocky core became so dense that it began drawing in large amounts of gas from far away. The majority of this gas consisted of hydrogen and helium that was left over from the birth of the Sun, and it was used to form the planet's enormous atmosphere which is filled with gas. So, what is the size of Jupiter? Jupiter, the gas giant, is the largest planet in our solar system. This planet is so massive that it would take approximately 1300 Earths to fill its volume. So, how big exactly is Jupiter? Jupiter has an equatorial diameter of approximately 142,984 kilometers and pole diameters of approximately 133,708 kilometers. It has a mean radius of 69,911 kilometers and a mass of 318 Earth masses. Jupiter is over 11 times the size of Earth. Some scientists believe that if Jupiter had been more than 70 times more massive, it would have formed a star rather than a planet. Who knows, maybe in another universe, Jupiter was the only star in our solar system, and the Sun became a gas giant instead. Is Jupiter greater in size than our Sun? Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, but is it larger than the Sun? No, the gas giant is insignificant in comparison to our Sun. Our Sun is 11 times the size of Jupiter. It has a diameter of 1.39 million kilometers and a radius of 696,340 kilometers. Jupiter, on the other hand, has a mean radius of 69,911 kilometers, an equatorial diameter of 142,984 kilometers, and pole diameters of 133,708 kilometers. Jupiter is so small in comparison to our Sun that you could fill it with 1,000 Jupiter-sized planets. There is always a bigger fish, as the saying goes. Why is Jupiter so massive? Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system because it is the oldest. It arose approximately one million years after the solar system. It had some advantages because it was the first planet to form. These benefits are purely logical. The planets and the sun formed as a result of the solar nebula's swirling gas and dust from an interstellar medium. Gravity drew the swirling gas and dust together, creating the sun or the planets that followed. If Jupiter was the first planet to form, it had the ability to gather more gas and dust within itself, resulting in its massive physical size. If a planet formed first from the interstellar medium, it would have been in Jupiter's position. Jupiter's giant proportions were predetermined, and any planet that formed before Jupiter could have been in the same position. Don't go anywhere because we are going to reveal the five most interesting facts about Jupiter. Fact number one, Jupiter is the fourth most visible object in the sky. Jupiter's luminosity in the sky has been observed since ancient times. 
As a result, no one can claim credit for its discovery. However, one man is credited with being the first to observe Jupiter through a telescope. Galileo Galilei is the man in question. These observations were made in 1609 and 1610. Galileo was also responsible for the discovery of Jupiter's four largest moons, namely Io, Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede, the largest moon in our solar system. In honor of Galileo, these moons are known as the Galilean moons. They had a significant impact on our understanding of the universe. Fact number two, Jupiter is composed of 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. Jupiter's composition is very similar to that of our Sun, consisting of 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. Some scientists believe Jupiter is a failed star while others disagree. Jupiter is essentially a floating ball of gas and dust with no true surface. Scientists believe the gas giant has a solid surface, but this is not certain. Fact number three, the planet Jupiter dethroned. Jupiter was considered the king of the moons for a long time because it had 79 confirmed satellites orbiting it. However, Saturn was recently crowned as the king of the moons with 82 confirmed moons and even more awaiting confirmation. Fact number four, there are rings on Jupiter. Jupiter has rings just like Saturn, but they are much more visible. Except for the terrestrial planets, all planets have dust rings surrounding them. Saturn happens to be the most easily recognized planet due to its rings. Jupiter's rings are quite faint, with three ring systems surrounding the gas giant. These ring systems are mostly made of dust and small rocky fragments. Fact number five, Jupiter is encircled by a plasma torus. It may not occur to you when thinking about traveling to other planets that even approaching certain planets can be dangerous. A high temperature is always a red flag, but in the case of Jupiter, the danger is more subtle. Jupiter is surrounded by a plasma torus created by its extremely powerful magnetic field. Jupiter's magnetic field is 20 times stronger and 20,000 times larger than Earth's. The plasma torus around Jupiter is essentially a field of extremely charged particles that can destroy a spacecraft or probe. However, some zones within this field are much safer. When sending probes to Jupiter, scientists took advantage of these safe zones. So is life possible on Jupiter? We don't know if there is life on Jupiter or if it can manifest itself there right now. To begin, Jupiter is a large ball of hydrogen and helium with no true surface. Life as we know it could not evolve in such circumstances. There could be microscopic organisms floating around, but these are just hypotheses. In any case, Jupiter's atmosphere is far too dangerous for any known life form to survive. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your family and friends. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.